Ladies, it's Sandy. Of course, who else would it be? I have a lot to talk to you about. Well, maybe not a lot, but enough. Uh, and I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> so, um, first off, let's address the elephant in the room. Okay. Today is your last day. Midnight tonight is your last time that you can get raffle tickets. Okay. $5 Canadian. Links down below. I've already put out a video about the pay PayPal thing. So go check that out. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I, yeah, I have gotten an outpour. Outcry? Pouring of? whatever, <laughs> of love from you guys. Uh, a lot of you have said how disappointed you are that the raffle is ending. It's really not ending. It's just shortened. <laughs> so all the boxes are still going out. It's just happening sooner than we expected. So, which is fine because um after this is done then i want to really hammer on the christmas and july fairies so that's kind of been put on the wayside until all this has been dealt with so i'm kind of happy about that so anyway um yeah so go get your tickets uh and i will email you your numbers and i will be dealing with that this weekend <laughs> Um, something else that I want to mention too, and I didn't, I, I wasn't sure if I was going to mention this or not, but you know what I am because it's really ticked me off. When you're, when you put yourself out on YouTube, you put yourself out to, um, getting a lot of grief and getting a lot of, uh, messages from people that try to take advantage of you <clears throat> and your kindness and whatnot and crystal from the secret or not crystal sorry krista from the uh, from bag o day stop doing giveaways for that reason i believe um that she just she was just getting too much hate mail because people were jealous or um ticked off that they didn't win and and all that kind of stuff. And I can't speak for, for her, but um, you see it in her eyes and in her face when she can't do her giveaways anymore. It really hurts her. And now she started doing them again. And I'm really hoping that people can be civil and leave her alone. Let her do what she's going to do, right? Um so anyways, I ask the same, but you know, something that's happening is a lot of YouTubers that do giveaways are also getting emails from people giving their life sob story and begging for yarn. And I've been getting that and stupidly I got sucked in. Um, and as soon as I mailed off the box, I found out the, this, these people, I'm not going to say who, what, or whatever, is having a giveaway. I'm not bloody happy, right? <clears throat> I went out of my way, <clears throat> excuse me, I went out of my way, I went through my stash specifically for certain yarn because this person was allergic to wool and pulled out of my personal stash and sent off the box. Um, this is happening all over the place and I'm hearing it now more and more, right? I got messages this morning saying, did you send this, these people yarn? And I was like, mm, yeah. Um, I'm pissed off. I really am. Because when we do our giveaways and stuff, we're doing it out of the kindness of our heart so that 
we could give and help, you know, give for our supporters, right? We're not a charity case or we're not, we're not here for charity. We're not here to supply people with yarn. Okay. We're not here to, you know, um, to just give, give yarn for whatever reason, you know, we're doing it because we love our yarny family, but we don't want to be taken care of, uh, taken advantage of. Nobody wants to be taken advantage of. And I feel like I have been taken advantage of. Um, you know, as soon as you see a YouTuber that has a kind heart and gives, it's all of a sudden, wham, you get these emails saying, you know, all, all these things of, you know, oh, woe is me. Um, I can't, I can't get yarn. I don't have yarn. I really love to crochet. I, you know, but, you know, can you help me? Well, of course I'm going to help, you know, when you say that, but then to turn around and do videos to say, oh, I'm doing giveaways. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, there's a problem here. Um, and I am, I am so sorry that I, I got sucked in. It won't happen again. So if there's anybody out there, any subscribers that are doing this, unsubscribe my, from my channel. Because if I get another email saying, you know, give me yarn, um, I'm going to blast you. Because I, I'm not here to supply, uh, to supply you, you know, um, I'm doing this out of the kindness of my heart. Uh, because I like making people happy, but I'm not your, your personal yarn store. Okay. All right. Having said that, just needed to get that out of the way because, uh, that really ticked me off. That really ticked me off. On to better, happier things. How am I feeling? My back is good. Um, it's, it wasn't anything dangerous or, or needing to go to the doctor or the hospital or anything thank god uh it was severe muscle strain and whatnot the, i have a bulging disc and ruptured disc in my back and the ruptured disc i think the bones were you know everything was inflamed and the bones were um grinding together and bad 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 and the nerves and the all that kind of crap so now everything all the inflammation little 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 little, little inflammation is down I can move I can walk I can you know I just have to be careful about the way I sit and I can't twist and yeah all that I know my sister Sandy USA Sandy saying stop twisting <laughs> it's like okay um so yeah so I'm doing good um Rosalie from yarn it out put out a video <laughs> about her going shopping for me uh i had said to her hey i've got a great idea why don't you do a video because i was asking her if she could go to hobby lobby for me and get me some um yarn be yarn and some i love this yarn and i says hey there's great content for you <laughs> so she put out a video with my face on there and <laughs> it was so funny <laughs> um uh, so yeah, that was so cute. So I do, I think she's going to be doing another video when she receives the yarn. I think she ordered it online and she might be getting some from Hobby Lobby, like going to the store. I'm not sure. Sorry, I'm sweating. It's really humid here right now. And, uh, my hair is not helping matters. <laughs> oh, look at these wings. Oh, I need a haircut. Ugh. Oh, I should have put a headband on. <laughs> um, so anyways, go check that out. I'll leave that link down below as well. Uh, and when I get the yarn, uh, I will do obviously do a video and show you what I got. Um, Christmas and July fairies. I'm going to probably do a separate video on that. But in my playlist, if you look underneath this video, there's 
a playlist down there go check out I've got a whole playlist for all the for the videos that I have found so far that are doing the Christmas and July fairies now if you haven't heard about this oh I will put the link to Dana's um, link or Dana's channel because she explains the whole thing but basically it is that all the content creators that are getting involved which I believe there's about 120 or 130 of us holy crap like I do I can't even believe that that this just blew up it was crazy mind blown um we put out a video and that's in my playlist as well um <clears throat> where we were explaining the whole Christmas in July fairies. You put a comment, you, the, some of us asked to put, you know, certain comments, but if you put a comment down below of that video, uh, you can win a chance to be in the grand, ra uh, grand prize that Dana will be doing. Okay, so on July 15th, I will be doing the drawing for my video, okay? Uh, and then I will pick a winner. I will be sending that winner a gift. And then um, I will be sending that to Dana, sending your information to Dana. And then Dana's going to go around to all 120 of us or whatever that have picked their winner from that their video. And she's going to do a massive grand prize um, winner. And that grand prize winner is going to get a gift from all the fairies. <sighs> I am just floored by this. Dana did such a good job of thinking this up because it's spectacular. Now, if you go and you watch their video from beginning to end, okay, if you put in the, the browse or in the search engine of YouTube, hashtag Christmas in July fairies uh, it will come up with all the videos the, of everybody that's doing this you go to I know it's a lot of work I don't think we realized that it was going to be this big but you go to all of their videos you watch their videos from start to finish you subscribe to their channel you give them a like and then you um, comment down below like I said, some of them, you have to watch the whole video because some of them will ask you for a certain phrase or a certain comment. I'm, I, I don't have one on mine, but um, then you comment that down below uh, uh, in their description. I mean, in their comment section. And you have the chance to win on every one of these channels. And that gives you more chances to get into the grand prize. Like that just blows my mind. You have 120 or 130 chances to get your name in for this raffle. It's just, I just can't even believe it. So yeah, so go and check out that. <sighs> And, oh, and not every one of us is giving our winners a prize. Um, it's up to the content creator whether or not they want to give a little prize um, on top of, <clears throat> excuse me, on top of the grand prize. Okay. I, I, I keep thinking about the winner that is going to happen. Like, she's, this person is going to get flooded with mail. Absolutely flooded. And it just boggles the mind, you know, it's, uh, wow, just boggles the mind. Okay. I wanted to talk about my description box down below. Okay. For all of you new people, thank you for being here. I love you all. Um, you may not know about my description box. Okay. I have, um, lots of stuff down there. Okay. I've got my Etsy page. I've got my facebook page i've got my instagram i've got my um things that i love on amazon i've got i've got lots of stuff down there 
so go check that out uh i have been i've got my stitch markers i've been making stitch markers uh, i have those all in my etsy store okay i've got like a bunch of them um so yeah i've got patterns in my etsy store uh so go check it out okay i wanted to i i found this on facebook and it just it, it absolutely i i stopped and i was in shock i was in absolute shock there's a girl or lady on facebook and ugh, my hair is driving me crazy hang on i gotta do something with this okay sorry about that <laughs> it's just driving me absolutely bananas okay um so <laughs> excuse me this lady her name is crystal ann simpson and she has a i don't know it's a company or a um a store or something called crystal cat uh 1989 at it's on etsy okay she she has taken crochet to a different level um she's basically what it is is she's made can cozies okay like just the crochet can cozy and she's felting stuff on the cozy i'm gonna i'm gonna see if i can put a picture here but she does a wolf head she does um animals she does like it's amazing to say the least okay i was just like blown away and she's not she's selling them for a sm small amount the amount of work that she's put into felting these things it boggles me um and she's got a coupon code in capital letters friend it's called friend code and it gives you 15 percent off <sighs> why <laughs> but she did um you got to go and see these these can cozies because they're amazing. Uh, I'm going to leave her link down below because I was just who who would have thought to crochet a can cozy and felt over them. I mm, beautiful beautiful work she does she does. Uh so I just wanted to throw that out there because it just it floored me it really did i have to say last night i watched sandy from leftist right crochets live and i'm watching it you know la, 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 i'm crocheting la, la, la. and the next thing i know i see her go oh! and i'm like oh my god what's wrong <laughs> and i'm thinking oh my god do i have to phone her do I, what's wrong what's wrong and she's just sitting there going <laughs> i'm going holy cow speak something she starts crying she doesn't cry i was just like what is going on did she hurt herself like what the next thing you know she says i just got my first super chat <laughs> i was like oh oh thank god she scared the bejesus out of me. So she gets her first super chat and then they start rolling in one after another. And she's crying. And she's just like speechless. And I start crying as I'm watching this. And I'm just like, oh my God, that's so awesome. <laughs> so congratulations, sis. I am over the moon happy for you, but don't scare me like that. <laughs> Holy cow. Um, so yeah, so you got to go check that video. <laughs> I'll 
leave her a link down below because man oh i love her to pieces i really do and i am so happy for her right and yeah i didn't even know she had super chat on like, i had no idea it's probably because i watched the replay so i i wouldn't see it but uh yeah so that was pretty awesome before I do this next part, I am going to show you what I've worked, what I've been working on. <clears throat> this is going to be a bit of a long video. I'm sorry. Okay. So I just, out of the blue, I was, I'm, I'm making a cardigan. Ha! Huh, shocker. Uh, and I just, I got sick of doing it. Right. I think I'm at my, the end of my rope with doing cardigans. It took a long time, but, um, I think I might be done for now. So this will probably be the last one I do for a little while. Um, so anyways, I put the hook down. I picked up my other hook and I started making a cowl. Uh, and this, oh, I've got it upside down. Um, and it's done with the V-stitch. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Okay. So oh, this is going to be so hot. Ugh. Okay, so it's a big fluffy type of cowl. Uh, it, I don't usually make my cowls this big, but I just had this, I just wanted to make a cowl. Um, and with this one, you can put it up and over. So, uh, yeah, so, and I made this one with Charisma. Uh... Why don't I ever bring my glasses in here? This color is dark blue. <laughs> so yeah, Lion Brand, uh, Lion Brand, a Loops and Threads Charisma is what I used. So yeah, Whew. so that will be going in my stock for um, my Christmas craft fairs. If we even have any this year, I don't know. Who knows what's gonna happen? I have no faith in what's going on right now. Um, okay. And then here is the next cowl. I, remember I, I just did a yarn haul and I was showing you that I got the Aurora, Premier Aurora, Aurora. <laughs> uh, and this color is Tornado. I was so excited to get this and I actually went back and I bought more. I'm waiting for that to come. Now that I've said I've stopped, I'm going to stop doing cardigans. Oy, oy, oy. Anyway, so I was excited to do a cardigan with this because it's going to end up being really pretty, right? So this is how it's turned out. I've not finished this. I haven't done this. I haven't done the arms or anything. It's, it, it can't, it, you can't see the, this is a really dark blue. It looks light in, in here, but it's a really beautiful tweet. It's got the tweety in it and the, oh, it's so pretty. So, <clears throat> so that's what I started making. I was planning on making this for myself. Late at night, last night, I was sitting there making it, you know, just crocheting away. Oh, here's my glasses. <laughs> I was crocheting away and, uh, I started seaming it up the back and everything and I thought I had done enough rows and I tried it on and I'm like, oh, okay, not my size. <laughs> so, so this is actually going to end up being a small. Uh, but I, yeah, I have to finish putting the arms on it and everything. So that's that. I wanted to show you the birthday gift that I got from my hubby. Um, I been, I had been, I, I got a silver, like I've got a bracelet from Pandora and I ordered these charms. I don't know if you can see. Uh, can you see that's Odie? That's our puppy that passed away. Right? And the dog bone. And then there's a picture of Bailey. Whoops. And then this is actually upside down. 
but there's a picture of George. The next two that I'm getting is, of course, of my children. <clears throat> um, they just, <clears throat> excuse me, they just sent me pictures, the pictures that they want in them. So I'm going to order, order my uh, charms for that. So I, you know what, I, I've seen people with Pandora bracelets before and I've gone, really? Like, what's the big deal about it? <sighs> it becomes an addiction. Yes, they're expensive, but uh, the charms I actually got from a different company, it's uh, takes like a month to get here, uh, but they have different kinds of charms, right? Just like Pandora, they're just not the price that Pandora has. I have a whole bunch of shout outs to do. Uh, number one, uh, the number one shout out that I have is Gypsy Yarn Yak. She just started her channel. I don't even, has it even been a month yet? I'm not sure. She says that she just started crocheting like a few months ago. <laughs> I don't believe her <laughs> because she has picked up some stuff that like she does these beautiful blankets beautiful and she's making tops and like stuff that i don't even attempt right and you're trying to tell me that you've just started crocheting girl i don't believe you like holy cow you are amazing you obviously have the gift because your stuff is just stunning. It really is. I'm going to leave her link down below. Go check out her, her channel. She's such a sweetheart. But she made this amazing blanket for her mom. Oh, I think she called it Crashing Waves or Ocean Waves or something. But it's like a, a wave stick. Go check it out. It's just gorgeous. And she just made this top that was from... Oh my God, I can't believe I forgot her name. Tales from the Truck. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I know you guys are yelling the name at me right now. Tracy? Oh, anyway. Um, it, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. <clears throat> Fiber Fox. That's it. Uh, Fiber Fox Studios. Okay. Now, I have a whole bunch of congratulations to do. Uh... Dana from Homespun Fun has just hit her 1K. Congratulations, Dana. You should have hit your 1K a long time ago, to be honest. Like, I just, I don't understand how these people, these um, content creators that just hit their 1,000 now, they should have had their 1,000 a while back. So, <clears throat> that's just crazy. Um... Oh, and by the way, I, I'm just over uh, 1,500. Yay! Yes. <laughs> so. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my Yarny friends for doing that for me. Um, okay. Uh, Natalie's Closet. She just hit her 1K. Uh, Derek the Knit Wit Strong just hit his 1K. Slay the Day Crochet just hit her 1K. What? Like, again, should have been a long time ago. Um, April's Crochet and More just hit her 1K. Oh, no. Did she? Yeah, she just hit her 1K. Uh, crochet Rosetti just hit her 1K. Christie's Crochet Corner just hit her 1K. The Whip Window with Rachel. Blah, 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 blah. That's hard to say. <laughs> Just hit her 1K. Yay! Congratulations to all of you. Um, it feels good, doesn't it? It really does to think that there's that many people that want to watch you. It's awesome. I, I just love this community so much. I really do. Okay, now we're going to help out a couple of other channels. These people need to hit their 1K. Hook me up with Christy. 
she needs um i don't understand why she's not up there you know like seriously so let's help her out linda's yarn barn again she should be up there go check her out nan's next knots this one blows my mind nan's next knots she has given so much to this community you know <clears throat> um she is actually i have her business card right here um she sends out stitch markers to to various uh, content creators and everything that are just gorgeous why she's not up there i don't know but we are going to get her there okay um we're going to get them all there so i'm going to leave all these links down below please go check them out hit that subscribe button hit the notification button and give them a like let's show them some yarny love okay Ta -da! i think that's all i have to tell you guys and you're probably thinking wow that was a long video sandy it's because i haven't really done a vlog in a long time the raffle has kind of taken up my time so i kind of tried to throw it all in at once sorry guys <clears throat> um so yeah so that's that's basically it i'm sure i'm gonna get off here again and go oh forgot you know but anyway okay so a little good bad and ugly on that one um yeah so it don't send me any hate mail please i just i don't need to hear it okay i love you all even the haters I love you, love you, love you, love you. I cannot tell you how much I love you. Um, the only way I can do that is by doing raffles and giveaways and stuff like that. Um, so let's just keep that party going, okay? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I was going to touch on um, that a little bit deeper, but I think I'm going to wait or maybe not at all. I don't know. It seems to be a touchy subject so yeah let's just say you know if everybody's very upset if you know if there are some people that are really upset about doing the raffle i'm just going to tell you right now that me and someone else i'm not going to mention name because i don't want her getting hate mail uh we may have a solution that kind of gets skirts around this issue so stay tuned for that. Okay. So I love you all. And I will talk to you guys all later. Okay. Bye.